welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, I am going to be doing a braces update. Now this one is purely for my braces babies out there because I know I do have quite a few people who subscribe to me purely for the fact that I have braces and my channel was never going to be like an update on braces kind of channel. Like I just documented my experience getting braces on and a little bit of like getting them tightened and whatnot, but I never really gave you guys updates along the way. And I have been getting quite a few questions over the past few months, especially a lot lately because I have just passed the one year mark of having these babies on. But I've been getting questions from you guys asking me to do an update and like just letting you guys know my experience and showing my progress and whatnot. So I figured that I would sit down today and try and give you guys as much information and all of that as I can. I really had to sit down and like think about what I was going to say because I don't really know what to say because it's it's kind of just been so gradual for me and I haven't really paid too much attention to them. All I know is that they're just getting straighter and straighter with every month. So before I get into things, if you do find this video helpful and you do enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any more videos that I post. So for those of you who are new here or if you don't remember, I did get my braces on about a year ago. Actually, I'm going to pull up the app on my phone because I have like a countdown app that I had where I put in the date for when I got the braces. So let me just see if I can find that and see if I still have the date in my phone. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so extra. Okay, let me show you guys. This is the countdown app. You probably can't see the date from here, but I've had my braces on now for exactly 14 months and one day. I did get them on on the 27th of February last year. And yeah, I guess it's already been over a year, a year and two months to be exact, which is crazy because oh, I don't even like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it just doesn't feel like I've been wearing the braces for that long. I don't know. It's strange. Like the time that I've had them on has just flown by that I haven't really noticed that I still have them on, if that makes sense. I don't know, like they're just a part of me now. So yes, the braces have officially been on for 14 months and I was originally told by my orthodontist that I'd be looking at wearing them for about two years. I just realized that means that I could possibly be getting my braces off in 10 months, okay. Oh my God, wow. Damn, that went by really quickly. Anyways, 10 months is a long time. I don't even have to think about that right now. But yes, my orthodontist did tell me that I'd be looking at having them on for 24 months. And to be honest, at first, when I was told that, I was like, damn, two years? Like, I'm gonna be, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna be 20. Wait, how old am I? <laughs> I totally, I totally just forgot how old I am. What? I'm 27, if you didn't know. So I'm going to be getting my braces off, hopefully, fingers crossed, February next year, I'll be 28. Yeah, wow, wow. As I was saying, when I was first told that I'd have the braces on for two years, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm going to be so old when I get them off. Oh my god, oh my god. But I don't know, I'm cool with it now, like it's all good. I'm sure you guys are already dying to know about like what progress I've made so far. So basically, if I smile, like, let me try smile normally. I feel like I'm at like school picture day or something. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. But when I smile, like everything looks all straight and if they look like they're ready to come off, right? Because everything's all straight, everything's all good. Essentially, my teeth are straight. The only thing that we are working on, I think, as far as I know, is that I have the gaps. So if you guys didn't know, if you haven't watched the vlog where I got them on, I did also document the process of me getting four, yes, four teeth extracted, two on the top, two on the bottom. I had to get them pulled out. I'm pretty sure they were my premolars. I got them extracted just because I did have a lot of crowding going on within my mouth prior to getting the braces on, which of course resulted in me having a crooked smile. So yeah, my orthodontist did say that we could keep the teeth in, but it might be a lot easier and quicker if we were to just pull them out. So I was like, yeah, girl, like just rip that shit out. Like it's okay. This is like weird for me to show you my teeth like close up, but let me see if I can zoom you guys in actually. Okay. Yeah, we got this up close and personal. So here's how my teeth look. 
Mm. I apologize if I have any lipstick on my teeth. You guys know how it is. It's very difficult to keep lipstick off your braces. That is one thing that I've struggled with. Um, but let me show you the gaps in my mouth. So I got on on this side and then here. And then at the top, there's like one back here. Can you see it? Uh, the. the ones at the top, they're not very visible, but the ones on the bottom, when I'm like laughing or opening my mouth, you can kind of see them. I'm cool with it though, like it's not a big deal. But essentially what's going to happen with all those gaps is that everything is going to be pulled forward, meet in the middle kind of thing. I don't know, I'm very bad at explaining things, but you guys, I'm sure you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. And I don't know if you noticed, but I do have, do I have on the top as well? Uh-uh, only on the bottom. My bottom teeth are very stubborn. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> but there's a spring in there, and basically that is being used to pull my back teeth forward to the front. The gaps that I have going on on my top teeth are on their way to being closed, like they're not being stubborn. However, my bottom teeth have been a little bit more stubborn with it. And essentially that just comes down to the fact that your bottom jaw is a lot more dense than the bone in your top jaw. So when you have braces and your teeth have to move, basically as they're moving, they're having to move through the dense bone that's already there, if that makes sense. So naturally everything moves a little bit slower on the bottom as opposed to the top. So yeah, that's how my teeth are looking so far. Like they're straight. I think they're straight. You guys can kind of see the gaps on the bottom from here if I, if I do this. But for the most part, they're straight and I'm pretty sure all that we're working on is trying to get those teeth to move forward. So that's the process that is taking the longest. It's so funny because when I got my teeth extracted, I was like, yeah, I'm going to have gaps in my teeth just for a couple of weeks till I get my braces. <laughs> <Got he. laughs> Little did I know that I'd have these gaps for like almost two years. So um, yeah, that's just how it is, you know, if you are going to get teeth removed, you're going to have to deal with the gaps in between your teeth. I'm just lucky that they're not so noticeable because I have heard stories of people having to get like their canines removed or whatever and obviously those are in a spot that is more noticeable and people are going to see. But for me, I'm just lucky that they're kind of more discreet with it, you know? Also, if you guys would have noticed, I do have power chains on. Now, when I first got my braces on, I just had the normal rubber bands, like the little ones that go around each individual bracket, but I have had power chains on now uh, for months. Like, I can't even remember a time when I didn't have them on. After the first few months of having my braces, she was like, yeah, we're gonna put power chains on. And ever since then, I've always had them. Now in terms of pain, I get a lot of messages from people telling me that they're super scared because they're really scared about the pain that comes with braces. Now I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, it doesn't hurt at all, like you'll be fine. It's totally painless, cause it's not painless. It does hurt. For me personally though, I have a very high pain threshold. Like my tolerance for pain is quite up there. Like I can deal with it. For me, the pain of braces is like, how do I describe it? It's it's like an aching pain, but it's like annoying, if that makes sense. So annoying to the point where you're like, I just want to rip these out because it's just constantly like a buzzing, like picture you're lying in bed at night and a mosquito is buzzing in your ear and you cannot find it. Like that's just how the pain is because you can't stop it. Obviously, if you take painkillers and whatnot, that kind of helps to subside a little bit. But the pain that comes from braces is more like an annoying pain for me personally. Everybody is different. And I know this is about to sound really crazy, but for me personally, I actually like the pain. And the reason why I say that is because if I'm feeling any pain in my teeth, then I know that stuff is happening. Like I know that the braces are working, they're doing their thing. If I don't feel any pain, like right now, um, I'm, I think I'm due to have an appointment very soon. So everything's kind of like settled in terms of movement. Um, I don't feel any pain right now, so I know that I'm ready to go and have another adjustment. But if I feel pain, I'm like, yes, this is good. Like everything's moving slowly but surely. And I know it sounds crazy, but I actually look forward to getting an adjustment because I know that I'm gonna have that feeling again, which means that things are happening, if that makes sense. So you got you gotta embrace it in a way. At least that's the way that I look at it. Another thing that I need to tell you guys is when I got my braces on, I got a bracket on every single tooth. And when I say brackets, I'm referring to 
these little silver things that actually go onto the teeth. If you didn't know what a bracket is, that's what it is. But yes, I did get one of those on every single one of my teeth except for the very back ones, just because generally when your teeth are shifting, those are supposed to follow along with the rest. Now, of course, my teeth were stubborn. So I think at around the six month-ish mark, was it? I'm trying to think. Oh no. No, I think it was like already nine months or so. I had to get brackets put on the very, very back teeth because everything was shifting forward and those were staying back. So I kind of have a teeny gap between the rest of my teeth that have already moved forward and my very back ones. So she ended up having to attach a bracket onto the very back teeth, bottom and top, and attach a wire all the way to the back. So that was painful. It was kind of like getting used to having braces put on all over again, because if you have had braces put on, then you know how it feels when they put the braces on and your mouth has to get used to them. It has to toughen up because obviously with the metal rubbing on the side of your cheeks and whatnot, it's painful. So I had to go through that all over again, but now my mouth is used to it. So yeah, I did have to get that put on somewhere in the mix. I'm pretty sure that was at the nine month mark, I think. I have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's when they put them on. In terms of the actual wire, I don't know exactly what strength or whatever it is. I'm not, like my orthodontist doesn't tell me all the exact details of what she's doing. I trust her judgment and I let her do her thing. Um, but it has gotten thicker and thicker every time. I'm like looking in the mirror, trying to remember. But yeah, it has gotten thicker and thicker every time, which leads me on to elastics. I did have to start wearing elastics. I think she gave me them at the beginning of the year. So what are we in now? We're in April. So I started wearing elastics a couple months ago. So if you don't know what elastics are, this is them. I don't know why, but they come with like a little fox on the front and every different strength of the elastics, because obviously there's different strengths has like a bigger animal. So I'm on the fox right now. I've been on the fox for like a couple, a couple months, I think. Um, but basically this is what they look like. They're just like little rubber bands. And I have these like hooks on <laughs> one here, one here on the bottom and also on the same two on the other side. And basically I got to wear these at night. When I first got given these elastics, I had to wear them constantly, like as much as I could but she did find that they weren't really doing the most. So that's why I had to get that spring put in between the gaps. So at this point, I just wear these at nighttime when I'm going to bed. Let me see if I can put one on for you right now. All right, there it is. You can't even see it when I talk, which is crazy because I remember when I first put them on a couple months ago, you could fully see them when I was talking because I had to wear them to work and stuff. I had to wear them all the time. That's how I know that things have moved because you can't see them as I'm talking right now. So that's cool. I just figured that out, you guys. Like I just figured that out right now. So yeah, that is what the goal is with the wires, brackets, elastics, all that kind of thing. If you guys are wondering, no, I've never broken a bracket. Touch wood, fingers crossed. I don't want to break a bracket. Um, because I have seen videos of people being like, yeah, my bracket broke today and I just don't want to have to deal with that. But so far, I've been really good with taking care of them, flossing every night, brushing every day and night. Like, I've, I've been doing the most, let me tell you. Another thing I want to talk about as well is changes to the actual shape of your face, which I have been getting questions from people asking me whether I've noticed any, like, changes personally in the shape of my face. For me... I don't know, I kind of feel like my face has changed shape just a little bit, but it's very subtle though, nothing too crazy from what I notice of myself. You guys might feel different, but for me personally, I don't really think it's changed shape that much. However, I was looking at my like before shots because I had to get like pictures taken and whatnot of my face and my smile and everything before I got the braces on and I kind of feel like it looks different. Like I kind of feel like my jaw has become more narrow and is like, mm, I don't know how to describe it. I wish I had the pictures ready to show you guys so I could kind of compare side by side. But when I get these braces off, I definitely will do like a big before and after kind of overview of everything. But yeah, I kind of feel like my face has changed shape a little bit, but I mean, I still got the same chubby cheeks that I've always had. And 
yeah i just i don't know i kind of feel like maybe my jawline looks a little bit different but in saying that like that was a year ago and obviously things are going to change within a year so i don't really know if my face has changed shape I'm gonna have to go back and look at my old videos to figure it out. But I mean, I'm not mad about it. I still think I look okay. <laughs> I don't really know what else to tell you guys, but that is the progress so far. If you want to see what my teeth looked like before, I'm going to leave the link for the video where I got the braces on down in the description box so you can really see the difference because it really, like I, I, I feel like it is a big difference. I can't even talk properly, but yes, I feel like it's a really big difference from what my teeth were before to what they are now. It's so funny though, because I was watching all vlogs of myself without braces at all. And I was like, man, like I miss my smile. Like even though it was crooked, I do miss my smile. It's crazy to say, but that was me. Like that crooked smile was me and I, I miss it. But I don't know how my smile is gonna look once these braces come off. It's gonna be different, that's for sure. But yeah, I do miss my crooked smile. <laughs> Anyways, that's pretty much everything that I can think of to talk about for this one year update. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Cause I mean, I have had these braces on for a year, so I'm pretty sure I could answer almost every question that you may have about braces. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed, don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, you can find all of my social media links down below in the description box. And like I said, guys, if you have any questions or whatever for me, leave them down below in the comments. I will talk to you down there and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.